Do you find adding login functionality to your React applications complicating? Or are you lost in the complexities of authentication protocols? With Asgardio, you can simplify this process. Hi, I'm Savindi Vaduge from WSO2 and welcome to a brand new series of Identity in 15. In this video, we will be talking about how to integrate Asgardio into your React application to give it secure authentication. Asgardio by WSO2 is a cloud-based identity as a service platform designed for developers and organizations. It offers a wide range of features that enables you to manage user identities securely, add authentication and authorization to your applications. Asgardio is built with the developer in mind. It offers you SDKs and APIs that helps you to integrate authentication into your applications. In this video, we will be using Asgardio React SDK which consists of hooks and components which we need to use to add authentication to your application. Let's start by creating an application in Asgardio. You can easily go to Asgardio using the wso2.com slash Asgardio website and click on try it for free. So you can create your account here. Since I already have an account, I will simply sign in. All right. Now we are at the Ascardio console. To create an application, go to the Applications tab and click on New Application. Since it's a React app, we can create a single page application. Give the name that you want and the redirect URL. <laughs> and create the application. So here you have all the things that you need to send uh, to add the configurations in your code. You have the client ID, base URL, redirect URL and the scope. You will need to send this configuration into the auth provider component that we will be using inside your code. To make it a bit easier, I will go to the quick start guide here and just copy it from here so I can directly add it to the code. So for this video, I will be using Wheat for my sample React application. So let's go ahead and create a Wheat app. So after the NPM install, we can go ahead and install the React Auth SDK. Let's open up our code. So the first step is we need to import the auth provider from the SDK. So let's go ahead and do that. And we need to wrap this auth provider in your root app component. So wrapping the auth provider in your app component allows you to use uh, the use auth context hook and all the other hooks and components uh, that allows you to give authentication into your application. And it provides you with the session state which contains the authenticated user's information such as a unique identifier, their display name and things like that. So we need to send the config prop inside the auth provider. So we can simply use the config object that we copy from Ascardio quick start guide. Now that we have added the config and sent it inside the auth provider component, we can go ahead after wrapping your root application component with the auth provider, 
we can now go to app.jsx and import the use auth context hook and use the state and the sign in sign out methods to implement authentication in your application. So first let's import the use auth context from the SDK and let's take out the state sign in method and the sign out method and we don't need this part so from the state we can check if the user is authenticated and if the user is authenticated we can show we can show the display name the username actually and the sign out button and if the user is not authenticated we can show the sign in button as follows can remove these imports okay now let's see how the application looks. So you can see here, since I am not logged into the application, I'm getting the sign in button. So let's see, once we click on the sign in button, you get redirected to Ascardio where you need to enter the details of a user that you have created in Asgardio. So once you have logged in, we can see the username of the user as well as the sign out button. And that's it. After creating a basic Asgardio Secure application, there is more you can explore. You can add features from Asgardio such as passwordless login, single sign-on, social login and registration, add branding to your authentication UIs, including AI-powered branding, and you can manage customers or partners as organizations or tenants and give them tenant-specific access policies. That's it for this video. Check out the React Quick Start Guide, the Complete Guide, and the User Guide and the API Detail documentation for the Asgardio SDK in the links down below. Thank you for watching and see you on another video of Identine 15.